Hello there, Pete. How Hi. are you? Great. So you were here right before you announced. That's right. How long has it been now? It's almost a year. A year. Yeah. Well, life has changed, huh? Just a little. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. what is, what is, has anything surprised you? Yeah, I mean, just the, the pace of it. I'm, I mean, a year ago, I was, uh, you know, I was mayor, but, but it was just different life. I was driving my Chevy to work. Uh, I went on, on Christmas. We didn't have any uh, staff, obviously, Christmas Day, and went to start up the car to take it around the block. It didn't even start because uh, it's, it's been that long since I've, uh, I've driven it. And it's just, a, you know, most of my meals now are in vehicles. It's just a different life. Yeah, and, and you're shaking a lot of hands. I, I would I'd think, are you worried about the coronavirus at all? I mean... <laughs> That's a lot of hands you're shaking. Policy-wise, I'm very worried about the coronavirus. Uh, per personally speaking, yeah, you, you definitely, any flu or cold that's going around, we're kind of the tip of the spear. And then, of course, you think about it, the candidates all shake everybody's hands. And then on debate nights, like we just had, uh, we shake each other's hands. So I figure by now we must have super immunity to yeah. anything we haven't come down with. That's... We're meeting everybody. So the debate the other night, uh, Wednesday night, it got pretty heated. Everybody was talking about how, uh, how did you feel about it? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the heat of competition, obviously, draws out our differences. But it's also important to remember that at the end of the day, uh, I think Democrats share the same broad values. And there's going to be one nominee. I hope it's me. I'm working to make sure it's me. But whoever it is, we have got to rally around that nominee if we want to defeat this president. And I'm committed to doing that. And I think we all are the moment that we have a nominee. Uh, I mean... You're all, you're all pretty much, yes, saying that you, you want to defeat Trump and, and you're, you're hoping that... Uh, but, but right now, there's so much fighting uh, among everybody. I mean, you, you went after Bernie pretty hard, um, and yet they're saying that Bernie is most likely looking like he would uh, go the furthest. And do, you, do you worry about that? How, how do you then compete with that. Yeah, I am worried about that. I mean, the, the pundits are predicting a world where pretty soon the only two left standing are Mike Bloomberg, because he has so many personal resources and, and money to, to do ads, and Bernie. And, uh, you know, I, I respect both of them, but I'm really worried about our ability to defeat Donald Trump if those are our choices. Uh, you know, if, if we have to choose between somebody who wants to, to burn things down in a way that I think a lot of Americans just don't identify with, and somebody else who thinks you can just buy this with, with personal fortune as a billionaire, I don't think either of those choices is going to make it possible for us to bring Americans together and defeat this president. That's why I'm offering a different approach. And I think what's going to work is inviting as many Americans as we can into this majority that we're not going to agree on everything. That's okay. But I think most of us can agree that we can do a lot better than the president we've got right now and that we have to change things in this country before it's too late. Um. Do you, do you feel like... I, I've, I've talked to a lot of people who feel like th they've just lost hope. Like, you know, I mean, how do you, how do you give people the incentive to vote and to know that there is, that there is something that, that we can do? You say we have to yeah. do it together, but how do you give people that hope? Well, I think hope is what it's all about. There's, there's a reason why they, they call candidates hopefuls. You ever notice this on the news? A 2020 hopeful Pete Buttigieg appeared on the show today, right? Th there's that terminology, and I think that's very fitting. Because running for office is an act of hope. And by running for office, I'm asking everybody else to be motivated by the hope that our lives will go better depending on who's in charge, depending on who has their hands on the, the pulleys and levers of government. And voting is an act of hope, too. So I'm asking everybody who feels motivated enough to do anything at all, rather than just accept the way that things are going, to step up and do something about it, because it's up to us. You know, I think for a lot of folks watching the, for, for example, watching that impeachment trial play out was, was just exhausting and frustrating, but we're the jury now. The verdict is up to us, because it's an election year. This is our chance to change it. All right. We'll take a break. More with Pete Buttigieg after this.